guys welcome to my channel i am ashman and today uh, it's a video on hot wheels uh, so let's get started in this lockdown period everyone is discover, uh, discovering new hobbies so i also opened up my hot wheels bag and got many cars so thought of making um, hot wheels 10 most collectible cars from hot wheels ever built number 10 1968 pink beatnik bandit costs five thousand dollars designed by the legendary ed big daddy wrath of the rat spring fame the 1968 beatnik bandit was one of the original sweet 16 hot wheels issued in 1968 available in approximately 18 colors so they are saying that it's available in 18 colors but i have seen it only in two colors one is pink and one is blue if you have seen in uh, many colors so do comment down uh, number nine 1970 red ferrari 31 2p costs five thousand dollars produced at the metal facilities in both the united states and the hong kong the ferrari 31 2p is almost found with a black interior that makes examples that came with a white interior the rarest of the bunch so it's usually found with a black interior like black seating and black steering but once it was produced with a white interior so it's the rarest of the bunch 1971 spectra flame purple by focal uh six thousand dollar bone up your color wheel scales and find the purple because is the rarest of metals by focal colors this spectra flame by focal colors model is also subject to crumbling a condition in which the body of um, sages develop cracks and literally begin to crumble 1969 cheetah base with python body uh, six thousand dollars the car that would become the hot wheels python was initially called the cheetah inside the company it was based on the dream Rod built by custom clutch uh, pointer Bill Crushenberry before the decision was made to change the name to Python. A small number of cheetah prototypes were assembled. Uh, predictably, a few escaped the confines of the ha Hot Wheels Empire. Reportedly, only made in red, these cheetahs have been hunted by Hot Wheels collectors ever since. So, over here, you can see uh, it's written Hot Wheels and the car name and where is it made so this thing is called the base plate 1969 brown 31 body costs eight thousand dollars issued as part of the 1969 hot wheel cities the brown 31 body is considered by some red line experts to be extremely rare many guesstimates that fewer than a dozen exist a number that includes some prototypes so uh, I'm sure you would also having uh, some Hot Wheels cars or one uh, you have seen that it usually is a metal body car but this uh, 31 Woody is not a metal body car it's a wood body car and looks like a old wagon in old days number 5 1969 Ed Shaver Blue AMX costs $10,000 Huge issued only in the UK as part of the Mattel sponsorship deal with Racer Ed Shaver. This model has been the radar on the radar of collectors for years. According to experts, the only thing that differentiates the genuine Ed Shaver AMX from the more common non Ed Shaver models in the graphic treatment. Therefore, it's critical that you should be you should come across one of these AMX you determine whether or not the stickers are sly reproductions 1971 purple odds 442 costs twelve thousand dollars manufactured exclusively in Mattel's Hong Kong facility in 1971 the purple olds 442 is considered by many collectors to be the not only the rarest olds hot wheels car but the rarest of all production led by hot wheels so you would have heard red line word many times so i'll tell you what's red line so over here on the wheels you can see there's a red uh, round circle so this is what red line means 1969 brown custom charger cost 
cost thirteen thousand dollars. Made between nineteen sixty nine and nineteen seventy one, the custom charger was an extremely popular model. The exception is the brown variant, of which only a few are known to exist. Many col- uh, many collectors consider it to be a prototype, not a series traditional modem. So, only a few know that it's available in the brown variant. Nineteen sixty nine Mad Maverick, based on my IT Maverick, costs fifteen thousand dollars. Everyone knows what a Mad Maverick looks like, so we focus on the important part here, the base. While there is no storage of Mighty Maverick Hot Wheels in circulation, there only a few with its original name Mad Mad Maverick cast into the base plate. It was changed due to a copyright issue with rival toy manufacturer Johnny Lighting. Uh, which had previously issued a um, Mad Maverick, so the pre-name changes uh, cars uh, slightly sound after. So this means that the base plate, which I had shown you, only a few have the name as Mad Maverick at the base plate. Now all the cars that are being manufactured as the Mighty Maverick have the name Mighty Maverick at the base plate. Now it's the last one. Nineteen sixty nine, pink rail loading beach bomb, costs one seven five zero 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 dollars. Widely hoarded at the most collectible Hot Wheels extent, the rail loading beach bomb is a prototype that, for years, remained in the position of a metals metal employee. Unique in that it surfboards load through the rear window. The beach bomb proved to be narrow and top heavy, so the design was replaced with a slightly different version that featured side mounted surfboards and a full length plastic sunroof for a lower center of gravity. Although a few additional copies in different colors managed to slip into public hand, but only two pink versions are known to exist. Its original color pink, only two of the pink versions are known to exist. But some, unfortunately, some of the different colors copies managed to slip into public hands. That's why it's the rare car. Thanks for watching. We play now. Like, share, and subscribe.